Zimbabwe has received a forced batch of dozens of its citizens being deported from Britain's after staying in that country for decades and forced to leave families behind to face an uncertain future back home. Right group and politicians in Britain had mounted pressure to stop deportations, arguing that the deportees are at the risk of persecution in Zimbabwe. One of the reasons why our deportation system is so brutal, so crushing, so inhumane is that it really rides roughshod over family rights. Detention action supported a number of people who were meant to be on this flight whose entire family uh, lives in the UK, you know, mum, dad, grandparents, children, partner, wife, um, and who have no uh, remaining family in Zimbabwe or only very distant family members who have not lived in Zimbabwe for several decades. So these sorts of flights really tear communities apart. These trot relatives waited outside the Arari airport Thursday, but were not able to meet with the deportees. They were quickly put into waiting buses to go into a quarantine center to stay there for 10 days before joining their families. It's a pain in my heart, just because it's somebody. It's my brother in. It's my brother in. The United Kingdom says it has right to deport foreigners who committed serious crimes after they served out their sentences. Zimbabwean authorities dismiss fears that the returnees would be persecuted.